You may or may not have seen my last video called "Everyone Is Different." I was born with a cleft lip and palate. In my last video, I talked about my cleft lip and palate and the things I like to do for fun. I did my last video in the beginning stages of COVID, and since then, I've started doing a couple new things. You're probably thinking. What's a kite wing? A kite wing is a handheld sail in the shape of a wing that gives you propulsion using the wind, and it can be used on many different bases. I do a lot of sailing, and some of my sailing friends had been using kite wings in the winter,、um, and I've seen them in videos. So I talked to one of them, and then they pointed me in. In the direction of Martin Kimball, the local kite wing dealer of New Hampshire, so I went to Martin's shop, which, by the way, was really cool. And I ended up walking out with two 3.5 square meter inflatable swing wings from the brand F1, which is a good brand. I bought two because I wanted to be able to go out wing with someone else, and my intention was to go out on my pond. With either snow skis or ice skates as my base, depending on what the conditions were. So I pumped this thing up in my living room on a windy day and invited my friend over, who I usually go ice skating with, to come and try out this wing with me. So we started out on my ice rink with ice skates, you know, kind of messing around with it. But we soon realized, you know, we needed room to get going and. You know the the wind near the shore isn't that great, so my dad went out with a snowblower and snowblowed a big loop that wasn't hollow; it was just a hollow ring, so that we could skate and wing around. So after a couple hours of messing around with it, here's what happened. <laughs> So this is me a couple days later. Here's a clip when the rain rained a little bit and the snow crusted up, and then here's another clip where there was quite a bit more rain and there was more iciness on the surface, but not pure ice skatable. So overall, the season was well. I did a lot of learning and, and even. I got to go to Winnipesaukee once, and I got one time where the whole lake was skatable ice. So this past year, I won't go into that much, but there were two events that stand out. One, I was in a blizzard at home, and two, I got to go to Lake Sunapee on a warm day when the water was this deep sometimes. So at this point, I have been wanting a foil board for a couple years, and I'll jump right into it and show you what that looks like. So I went back to Martin's shop, got a foil board and a new wing that was 5.5 square meters because you need more power to get up in the water. We decided to try the board behind the boat. Before we tried it with the wind to get a bit of experience. After waiting a few weeks until the boat was in, I was finally ready to go. This is after I'd already kind of gotten the hang of on my knees. My dad told me to look at the horizon, and here's what happened. Next windy day, I pumped up the wing, and I was ready to go. The first time I got up on foil. I don't have on video, but I guess you could say it was beginner's luck. I had a lot of falls and I spent a lot of time in the water, but I made a lot of improvement.
having a lot of fun with this, and I hope I can get more videos out to you guys. Thank you.